Over a hundred years ago, the British explorers recognized that the fertile soil and ideal climate of the beautiful nation island of Sri Lanka paved the way for a thriving tea industry. And the rolling hills of Nuwara Alia, where we are right now, became the epicenter where the first tea seeds were sown, forever changing Sri Lanka. From these humble beginnings, Sri Lanka emerged as one of the leading tea producers. Today, its teas are renowned for their exceptional quality and diverse flavors, capturing the essence of this remarkable land. Today we learn about tea! most uh, attractive city for the locals, right? So because of the highest altitude, almost 2,000 meters we have touched here. So this is the coolest city in the country and every weekend a lot of tourists. The second one is the tea. This, the tea is very important in the country and this is a tea city. Beautiful city and a garden and very nice atmosphere. The nickname for Nuwara Elia yeah. is Little England. The British left in 1948, and this is the post office that the British left. <laughs> our whole family loves to travel, but the hardest part is missing our friends and family back home. We set up recurring FaceTime calls, and we share plenty of pictures back and forth. In fact, a great activity that we love to do when we're traveling is to write postcards to friends and family. It's not only fun and educational for our kids, but who doesn't love to get a postcard in the mail? Sri Lanka is the fourth largest producer of tea in the world, behind China, India, and Kenya. And tea production is the second biggest economic driver for Sri Lanka. Noah, do you like tea? No. But are you excited to learn about tea? Yeah. My best friend loves tea. Ava, do you like tea? I want to try. Effie, do you like tea? No, but I want to try. Pedro Tea Factory, located in Nuwara Alia, is a renowned tea production facility that's been crafting exceptional tea for over 100 years. This historic factory holds a special place in the hearts of tea enthusiasts and visitors who seek to learn more about the art of making tea. So the first thing we need to do is buy tickets. Hello. Good morning. How much? Uh, 500 per person. Okay. So it's three dollars total. Thank you. Thank you. First up is a tour of the tea factory. As you explore the factory, you'll see the skilled workers meticulously handpicking and sorting the tea leaves, ensuring that only the finest ones make their way into your teacup. The machinery hums with precision, reflecting the fusion of traditional methods and modern technology employed in the tea making process. The kids got to learn firsthand the entire process of planting, growing, picking, processing, and selling tea. At Pager Tea Factory, you also have the opportunity to taste a variety of teas produced on site. It was a really cool process to see from when they pick it, and then they lay it out to dry, and then they process it. Pretty crazy. And then after it's ready, it takes about 24 hours, it goes to Colombo, it goes to auction, and the big tea companies come and buy it and put their own labels on it and their own packaging, and that's it. It's a pretty labor-intensive process and really interesting. On our way back to our homestay, we stopped at a tea plantation where we walked through the maze of tea plants. While doing so, we got to watch and chat via a translator with the tea pickers and see their incredible hard work in front of our eyes. For all seven-year-olds, this or is younger. Or younger. This is this is what is hard work. This is a good example of hard work. Very hard work. I bow on. Most kids Actually, most adults, when drinking a tea or a cup of coffee, don't think about the process and the hard work that goes into what's in their cup. 
Our kids got to see how hard people work, from the pickers to the factory workers, and how working as a team makes it all come together. They also got to learn about how a single product can help an entire country's economy. All right, now everyone taste it. Remember to put your pinky up. Can I kiss? Grab and try. Look, I'm the turkey too. It's good. You like it? It's pretty. I, I like Doesn't it. Doesn't really have a taste. What about you? I like it well. I like it. Good. Hands-on learning is not only fun, but it's so beneficial. Today, our kids not only learned about the entire process of tea, but they saw how hard people work and how working as a team is better than working alone. So we're gonna continue to practice drinking tea and hopefully one day the kids will learn to enjoy it as much as we do. Cheers.